Good afternoon, Farmington First Church family and friends, and thank you for joining us for our weekly video devotion. We use the Upper Room Devotional Guide for all of our devotional material. Today's video devotion was authored by Mr. Larry Dow of North Carolina. Our scripture reference is Job, the 42nd chapter, verses 10 through 13. I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version of the Bible. Hear these words. And the Lord restored the fortunes of Job when he had prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Then there came to him all his brothers and sisters and all who had known him before. And they ate bread with him in his house. They showed him sympathy and comforted him for all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. And each of them gave him a piece of money and a gold ring. The Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his beginning. And he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 yoke of oxen, and 1,000 donkeys. He also had seven sons and three daughters. Hear the words of our reflection. Not long after I turned 40, my health started to go downhill. I experienced loss of appetite, sleeplessness, weight loss, and irrational thinking. My marriage was in trouble, and our oldest child was heading to college. I had always been able to fix most things fairly easy, but this was different. During my darkest moments, my thoughts turned to Job and the suffering he endured. Job didn't rebuke God, but held on to his faith. In the end, all was restored to him. During the depth of suffering, Job's story gave me hope that I would come through this valley as well. Finally, after a couple of months and still suffering with weight loss and sleeplessness, I was hospitalized. The diagnosis was severe clinical depression. The pain I felt both physically and emotionally was extreme. But with the right medication and a caring medical team, I started improving. My appetite returned, and I slept well. After 10 days in the hospital, I was discharged. The story of Job's suffering and restoration were key parts of my recovery. Though at times it may feel as if God has abandoned us, if we hold on to our faith, God's love will carry us through the darkest of days. It has been 30 years since my hospitalization, and every day I give thanks to the story of Job and how he never turned away from God, unending love for him. Friends, Winston Churchill is quoted as saying, if you're going through hell, keep going. We all face seasons of hardship and suffering, moments when it feels like all creation has set its will to place obstacle after obstacle in our path. It's easy to give up and to place ourselves in a sense of hopelessness. Indeed, friends, we can give in to the pressures that our challenges present us, or we can remain faithful to the God who helps us. As people of faith, we are not excused from enduring hardships. On the contrary, at times it feels like we bear more than our fair share. In an effort to make sense of things that don't make sense, we ascribe a divine purpose to our struggles concluding that God is trying to teach us a lesson and thereby is using the crucible of struggle as a tool for instruction. I've said it before, friends, but our loving God does not bring suffering, anguish, and pain into our lives, nor does God use them as tools of instruction. Romans 8 and 28 offers us another point of view. We know all things work together for good for those who love God who are called according to God's purpose. God does not bring hardships, but God can create a blessing out of that which was designed to destroy us. Yes, often we can have cathartic and transformational moments as a result of hardship, but God did not bring them into our lives. So where is God when we're suffering? God is present, offering us encouragement and assurance to hold on to our faith. God is present, whispering direction and inspiration to help us navigate our struggles. God is present, preparing a place of respite and renewal to sustain us as we traverse our traumatic terrain. Winston Churchill's statement echoes, albeit more gruffly, the sentiment found in Psalm 23 and 4. 
Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Do not give up. Do not give in. Don't lose hope, for God is with us. Indeed, Larry offers us a wonderful prayer to conclude this time of devotion. Let's pray. Dear Lord, through our darkest and brightest days, we give thanks for your unending love for us. Amen. Indeed, friends, you are a blessing from God. Now go be a blessing. Enjoy the rest of this day as you reflect upon the goodness and love of God for you in all life's situations. Be blessed. Have a great day.